Okay. Uh, I come from Japan. Uh, this is my first trip uh, to Singapore and also Red Road to the Town. Thank you. Yesterday, I experienced the uh, Julia <laughs> and also beer. So, <laughs> my body condition is uh, better uh, ever before. So, my name is Takayuki Matsubara. I am a software engineer uh, working at M3. Uh, I like Ruby, Elixir, and OSS. So I have been creating Ruby and Elixir libraries and also publishing on GitHub. Uh, please put a star, uh, anything this. So PR time. Uh, uh, Ruby Kai 2017 will be held from uh, September 18th to 20th in Hiroshima, Japan. Uh, please visit our official site and uh, come. So I would like to introduce uh, one way to encourage the open source community. By the way, uh, what is GitHub star? For someone who puts a star, uh, it means appreciation, uh, support, or manage favorite project list. For someone who has own project, uh, it means feel present, uh, like me. So motivation to maintain or create projects. For someone who uses GitHub projects, it means James popularity or James reliability. Rising the abstraction a little, the total number of GitHub stars represents, represents the activity of the OSS community. So I think putting a star is linked to the encouragement of the OSS community. So have you started your favorite projects? Raise your hand. Oh, thank you, many people. Uh, next. Have you started a raised project? Oh, many. <laughs> okay, next. Have you started a mail jam that Rails uh, action mailer depends on? Oh, sure. The, the last, uh, last question. Have you started a MIME types jam that mail jam depends on? Oh, it's nice. Oh, oh. Friends. <laughs> <laughs> Usually we do not acknowledge gems, but useful gems that we use sometimes depend on other gems. So there is a gap. This picture shows that total downloads it is almost the same, but stars are not the same. So these gems are used as much as our layers. So I would like to turn the spotlight to gems because OSS is made up of other OSS. So I have created Bundle Star. What does Bundle Star do? Bundle Star puts a star on GitHub projects that your project depends on when you execute the Bundle install command. So how to use Bundle Star? Uh, Let's give it a try, if you're okay. So for, for the step, uh, gem install bundle star, and then make a directory bundle star, change directory bundle star, and bundle init to create gem file. And echo gem bundle star to gem file. Uh, so bundle star is a tiny wrapper of the bundle command. Command line arguments are passed to original bundle command. Bundle star task is only putting a star. So let's run bundle install. Uh, bundle start tries to find your GitHub ID and token from the netrc file located in your system home directory. If you don't have a netrc, uh, bundle start creates it with your input. So please input your GitHub ID and the token. So if everything runs smoothly, you can see something like this. Oh. 
So almost the same as Bundle install, but uh, Bundle, Bundle stuff with that. Also, it's a star on German. So Bundle star makes uh, many stars. <laughs> <laughs> this is Bundle star. <laughs> now we can encourage the OSS community with Bundle star. <laughs> but Bundle star is uh, just one way to encourage the OSS community. The really important point is that we know various OSS projects and uh, try to know more about them. In doing so, we can get n new knowledge and contribute to those projects. We can encourage the OSS community more if we do those things. So enjoy. Thank you for listening.